Now we're going to try some geometric sequence word problems. In this question, Sally is growing strawberries. The first year she plants six seeds. The next year she harvests and plants 18 seeds. The next year after that she plants 54 seeds. There are two parts to this question. The first one asks, is this an arithmetic or a geometric sequence? Well, is there anything I can add to 6 to get 18? Yes, I could add 12. But if I add 12 to 18, I do not get 54. So it is not arithmetic. Is there something I can multiply by 6 to get 18? Yes, I can multiply 6 times 3 to get 18. If I multiply by 3 again, do I get 54? Yes, I do. So this is a geometric sequence where the common ratio is 3. How many seeds will she plant in her eighth year? Well, we need to create a formula for this. And the easiest way to do that is by making a table. If you don't remember how to create this table, please go back and look at the video creating a formula for geometric sequences. In the first year, she's going to have six seeds. In the second year, 18 seeds. And in the third year, 54 seeds. The formula for a geometric sequence is y equals a times b to the x. We already figured out that our common ratio is going to be 3, so I know that I'm going to have a 3 in my b. To figure out a, I need to know what happens when x equals 0. In order to do that, I look at my table and I say I'm multiplying by 3 every time. So is there something that I can multiply by 3 to get 6? And the answer is 2. So now I can just plug that in for a and I get y equals 2 times 3 to the x. If you don't remember how to get a specific term from a formula, please look at the video finding a term from an arithmetic or geometric sequence. To find how many seeds she'll need in her eighth year, we'll plug in 8 for x. So we get y equals 2 times 3 to the 8. Remembering that we have to do the exponent before the multiplication because of PEMDAS, we'll plug this into our calculator and find out that 3 to the 8th equals 6,561. If we multiply that by 2, we'll find out that in the 8th year, she will plant 13,122 seeds. If you have any problems with any part of this, please watch the videos on creating a formula from a geometric sequence and finding a term in an arithmetic or geometric sequence.